This lawn I've not been to since October, so I've got no idea what it looks like. Do I turn around and go home? Morning, morning, morning. So it's, well, it's actually Tuesday today. Um, I always do my fortnightly cuts on a Wednesday. However, tomorrow's looking pretty wet. So I have moved every, everybody forward to, to Tuesday, um, which, is, which is pretty cool. Everyone's pretty flexible. So the sun's out and there's a little bit of a frost this morning, but it's, um, it's now 8.28 and it's uh, seven degrees. So I'm in shorts and um, I think it's gonna be a good day today. So if you remember this one from the last video, uh, last time you saw this, this was I'm trying to get it to the sun, but this was scarified and seeded. And then I came back like two days later and top dressed it. So it's very long, but it's uh, it's grown in nicely. <sighs> And here's the back, still pretty long, <laughs> really long. Um, the seeded areas we did, they're coming in slowly. So that's, you can see it's coming in nicely. Um, really shaded down here so always struggles and that's the difference between light and shade I suppose okay so everything's done uh, took a little longer than expected but I've been on the phone for most of that to be honest hopefully you can see that it's difficult to see with the shade but uh, yeah everything's cut So that's the first one down, and um, now we're off to the next ones. Shut that gate. And um, yeah, there we go. Everything's striped up nice. On to the next. It's taken forever to get to the second job because of a road closure. Um, so that's taken me about 20 minutes when it should have took five, if that. Right, this lawn I've not been to since October, so I've got no idea what it looks like. Yeah, tell me. Do I turn around and go home? So not bad. <laughs> I mean these trees here just absolutely ruin this lawn. Blocks all the sun. So about that's about as much sun as this lawn gets.
So all done, still a bit wet actually, like, but I guess what do you expect, it's a new build. It's never ever great soil. But the, uh, the stripes are straight, so we can't complain about that. Right, so lock the gate up and I'm out of here. And that took all of, uh, oh, 12 minutes. So one thing I try and do, especially on a busy day like today when I've got a lot of lawns to get through, is to um, group them as tightly as I can together. And that's what's really annoyed me about this morning is that actually, you know, these two houses, or the first one and this one, aren't that far apart. But it's taken me forever because of a road closure. Um, so I've just left the second house. And I'm just on my way to the third house now. Um, and this is what it should be like. So, it's, I mean, it's already put me back a little bit and I've got quite a lot to get through. But, you know, when you group things correctly, um, it should end up like this. Because uh, we're here. Just open the gate. Okay, all done there. I chose not to film purely because they were out in the garden doing bits. So I thought it would be a bit weird. <laughs> um, although actually they'd be totally cool with it. Um, off, to, well, off to the next one now. Now, the turfing video I did, um, I don't know when this is going to come out this one, but it was the turfing video from start to finish all in one. Um, I'm going back to that lawn now to cut the old bit of lawn um, and to get the first cut in on the new turf. Um, I should have cut it two weeks ago because it was ready to go, but they have, and I'm not really sure what they are, I think they're ground nesting bees, um, which periodically throughout the year, maybe once or twice, um, they, they seem to live in the bank and you never really know they're there until you go past with the strimmer and then that's it, there's a massive swarm. And what they actually were doing was they were swarming all around where I'd made the, um, the ramp to get up to the new area. And I didn't fan I was in shorts and t-shirts, so I didn't fancy going through and uh, getting stung to death. So I can only imagine that that grass is really, really, really long. Um, but anyway, we'll take a look and we'll, uh, we'll get, hopefully get that first cut in. They've been away, so I know that they haven't done anything about the bees. So um, hopefully they've just uh, they've just gone away. <laughs> okay, so I've just looked at the new turf. <laughs> it's so long. Um, so um, I'm going to take the stream around and uh, we're going to going to attack it. Uh, don't seem to be any bees. Looks as though there might be some, um, but I'm just not going to stream that bank. And uh, hopefully that won't bring them out or aggravate them too much. Wow.
so maybe somebody can tell me what they are. They've woken up. I don't know if you can see them. Like they're the holes that they live in. There's actually not that many out, but it's an disturbed enough. Anyways, I'm going to use the uh, 41, put it on its highest setting, and hopefully just top it off. So all done, um, lawn striped, I've left the bank because that's where the majority of the bees are um, and there you go. So not great but a million times better than what it was. I think that's the massive difference I've noticed between leaving the golf club is in the golf club you'd cut the grass when it needed it um, especially on fortnight lawns you have to you know I should have cut this for uh, two weeks ago I couldn't um, so it's now ended up being a month um, since it probably should have been cut I guess the difficult part of the job is that you can't always do things when you want to do them um, but hey it is what it is I love that saying. Ooh, so now we're going to go to the next job. And I'll come back and close that gate. And there is the next job. So I'm going to walk past the van. And straight over to here. That's, uh, these stripes are two weeks old. Hope you can see them. Um, I'm going to put the the other diagonal in now, and uh, yeah, should be looking good. These steps are always a nightmare. It's actually a little bit better because they have the wood. You're actually pushing it on the wood and not the concrete, so. It's actually quite easy, but the when I've had people help me before, they go in that way and then they they get stuck in. They can't work out how to get it up. But generally, whenever you go in, whatever direction you go into a lawn, um, always come back out in reverse. So I will drag it backwards, back up these steps, and um, it's actually pretty easy. But I hate steps, so. Okay, all done. All done. Nicely striped. I don't know if you can see the other stripes now. Maybe from the other side. Um, here, it got really boggy. You can hear it. Look at that. So I uh, just was very careful to just tiptoe over those bits. And uh, now I've just got to get all the gear back up the steps. And we're at 
next one. And down there, see these are the steps I don't like. So this is one that I used to look after. Um, I actually used to look after all four of them. And I still do some work for the one in the corner there uh, and uh, new people to that house, but I've still done some work for them. And then this one here, actually the people who moved out of here were the second house of the day I did. So they moved down the road, um, I went with them. And then um, uh, recently the, the, the new owners of this house have now, have now taken me on to do the lawn care and uh, fortnightly mowing, so that's worked out really well. Um, so yeah, so this is fantastic. So just park the van up and I just push the mower from house to house to house. So lawn's all, all striped up. I think you can see that. Uh, that's the 41, the 41 Pro stripes. Uh, purely because, as you've seen, I've got to lift it up the stairs. When I cut this lawn originally, they had a, a 48, which they kept in the shed. So I just used to use my uh, 56 on the front and their 48 on the back, and that made it a lot easier. But they haven't got one now, I don't think. Actually, I don't know what they've got, but in those days I didn't have the 41, so that wasn't an option. I wasn't carrying the the uh, 56 up and down these stairs or these steps, so um, it's quite light actually. The handlebars at the front and the back make it so much easier to lift it. Anyways, that is just got to blow the patio off, uh, take the, the rest of the stuff up, and then I think for this cul de sac it is done, and then we're on to a uh, an interesting one. All right, so that's that's everything done. I'm on to the next one now. Um, starving. Uh, I've got me fruit, and I've got massively dirty hands. So uh, I'm going to go with my little steel screwdriver um, to pick out me pineapple chunk. Oh, bit of music. So we've got a tiny little lawn at the front and then, and this is where things get interesting. So when I, um, so when I first uh, started cutting this lawn, and this was one of my first lawns actually, um, and when I first set up the business, I had a Hater 48 and that was the only mower I had and it was brilliant, I really, really loved it. I'll just show you the lawn and I used to cut this on setting three and it was perfect, I used to stripe it up, clients absolutely loved it and then at the end of the year I got, or to the start of the new season and then at the start of the new season I, um, I traded in the 48 for a Hater 56 um, equally brilliant however on this lawn because it's so undulating and there's lots of little dips and what I found was it kept grounding out because it was just too long um, and it would it would scalp all these areas all around there there's little dips and what it meant was I had to knock the the settings up to um, five or, or four if it had been cut and maintained and maybe there wasn't much growth but even then on four it might scalp a little bit um, so I have my Alco which is a what is that that's a 21 inch I guess um, so that was the one I used and I didn't stripe it or anything I just kind of block cut it and that was fine I was able to sort of maintain the uh, the right height or more importantly, the height that the client wanted me to cut the grass at. Um, I know that's sometimes a little bit annoying, but ultimately, you know, if they're going to pay you money, then you've got to you've got to do what they want. Um, 
and they weren't asking me to do anything outrageous they just wanted me to cut the grass at the same height I had been cutting it at for the first year um, so nowadays I had now I have the hater 41 I could just nip back home and uh, get the Alco but I can't really see the point so I've got the 41 so although that's much smaller the speed of it I think compensates for the fact it's so small and actually I think it's quicker than taking a uh, a 21 inch mower over um, be interesting to test that to see which is the quickest um, overall but um, so yeah so that's the story on this lawn and that's why I'm going to use the 41 and not the 56 so um, the, the clients actually came home, um, got that one finished, no problems, uh, looks really good. Uh, the clients came home and they actually have two young boys who love the lawn mowers, love to come out and play and help me. Um, so I didn't feel it was appropriate to start filming with, uh, with them running around because literally they don't leave me be while I'm there. Uh, so couldn't take any footage at the end, so sorry about that. On to the next one. Next one's an interesting one. It's a uh, it's a terraced house and access to the back garden is uh, via the end house and she doesn't, the person who lives in the end house, although has to give access, uh, is really against it and her argument is the house, the, the, her argument is the people who used to live in the house uh, never used to come through. Um, and my argument was just because someone didn't ex exercise the right to access doesn't mean that access ex doesn't exist. Um, so it's always a bit of an issue. And last couple of times I've been here, I actually ended up having a bit of an argument with her. Um, to which each time it's just ended quite nicely actually um, with there's nothing she can do so actually just having a go is just taking longer and making me be on her property for a longer period of time um, I think uh, I think she's out actually so I'm gonna try and nip in and get the work done before she gets back just because she's gonna hold me up um, I think she thinks I'm gonna be spying for her windows or something I really couldn't give a shit what goes on in her house to be honest it's just a pain in the ass but it's priced quite well for the amount of time I'm here, so I'm happy to carry on doing it. Um, but anyways, right, better crack on. So this is it, you come through the first gate, the second gate, and then you come around, and then you've got the third gate. sit there. Bloody steps. Well, that's okay. I just dropped the video camera and it's not broken. Hey, don't think so anyway. Ooh. 
and that's the actual lawn through there. It's the actual lawn I'm here to cut. Okay, so that's done. That's a, it's a real quick lawn, you know. It's a nice, e it's not easy, but uh, I mean, it literally takes 10 minutes and it's right in the heart of where I'm working. So I've got no issues at the moment doing that one. Um, just getting up the steps in the back garden is always a little bit tricky. And um, it's just a shame about the neighbor. Uh, as I say, she wasn't in today, so that was perfect. I could just crack on. Um, but I think she's just one of those one of those people that she's going to find a problem in everything. Um, and unfortunately, the, my client, the lady I work for, she's not able to cut her lawn. So, you know, she needs help. And, you know, I don't quite know if the neighbour actually knows the whole story, but I'm sure if she did, she would certainly change her attitude. Anyways, on to the next, what is it, 20 to 5 now, so the next one might be, might be the last one, we'll see how it goes. So we're on to a, a lawn which is a little bit more like the lawns I'm used to. Um, we've been to this one before actually, uh, last time you saw me cut it with a 30 inch mower. Um, and I don't think it's been cut since because every time I've tried to get into cut they've had workmen in here doing stuff and I've not been able to um, so yeah it's pretty long now um, need to scarify see it's quite weedy quite a lot of moss in there um, it's basically just trying to get an option to get in here and get the work done um, I don't remember if it, on the video you saw that section but it's all been turfed and things and the guys who were doing all the landscaping, they've just done that work. Um, but no, it's looking, it's looking pretty good, pretty tidy. Actually, you can just make out some diagonals in there. So uh, I think I might put, stand them out a little bit more. So that's pretty much everything done. Uh, for today it's now 1821 so realistically if I was to go anywhere else I'd be finishing at seven and it's unnecessarily late um, I think um, unless it was like an emergency or something so I say emergency emergency grass cutting actually I've got one um, at the end of this week where someone's got a wedding um, and I've been prepping the lawn for it I think that's a bit another video I've got coming out um, so I've said oh, the wedding's on the Saturday and the lawn's being cut on the, the final cut's going to be on the Friday before. Um, so I've said look I'll fit you in but I'm pretty busy so it'll be in the evening. Um, so, so I guess you do have emergency uh, um, mowing jobs perhaps. Anyway so this is the stripes. All striped up now. So that's pretty cool. One thing I did notice actually as I started cutting is that the um, the other diagonal was still in the still in there um, and that must have been from last year perhaps I don't know if you can still see that or not if it comes out on camera you can just about see it that is oh what's going on the screen oh battery battery's pretty much dead anyways that's alright because we're finishing. <laughs> um, that's it for today. Um, there's some of my uh, fortnightly Wednesday cuts, cut on a Tuesday. And I um, hope you enjoyed watching the video. And I'll see you all again soon.
If you've managed to get this far, then congratulations and well done. Thank you for watching. Um, recently, I've taken a little bit of an absence from social media. Uh, just had a lot of stuff going on with the business and outside of the business too. And in that time, um, I've had a lot of questions um, all about lawn care coming in um, from you all. And that's fantastic. But what I thought I'd do is sh share those questions with everybody in a kind of a question answer session. Um, so if you have got this far and you are hearing this and there is a particular lawn care question that you want me to answer, then put it in the comments below and um, I'll put it all into a video. Anyway, thanks for watching and um, hopefully regular videos will be back up and running as normal.